Hello, 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 friends of Komodo Platform, friends of Pirate Chain, crypto in price chart enthusiasts. Yes, all you enthusiasts out there. Thanks for joining. I'm E. Giuliano, and it's the 23rd of September. I've got some looks on this Komodo price chart, KMD BTC. And we'll take a look also at the RBTC price chart. And of course, we will we'll take a first stop at the <coughs> BTC price chart. So I'm going to share the screen, BTC USD. We're going to get right into it. I hope you're doing well, staying hydrated. Here, we'll do nice watery water, my friends. There you go is the BTC price chart. So what are we seeing here? We are seeing a pause candle. Resistance at that 44,000 level there, previously drawn out. I mean, I'm not moving these lines, friends. I'm telling you, I'm not moving these lines. No big deal, just because you throw a line there, it doesn't mean anything special, okay? Just because it stops here, okay? Could have moved through the line, could have not met the line. It's the area, it's the zone. We're in that cloud though. You see, we're in that cloud. Let's just check this for a second. <clears throat> Hide you. So we're in the Ichimoku cloud. It's so narrow. We are right there. We are pushing higher. Good day, good candle so far. This is the daily price for BTC USD. So September 23, pushing that cloud. Whoops, let's see where we can get with it. We moved out of this, uh, how do you say, expanding uh, downward movement here. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of it. We're going to just take the four hour price chart and take a look. Made it back over the um, made it back over the 20 period average on the four hour, now starting to flatten out. Okay, so previously the Ichimoku cloud, that was the daily Ichimoku cloud. Now we're looking at the um, the four hourly. So a move above this would get us, you know, into the, well, it's definitely gonna be resistance time, but I think that's where we'll get into this 47 and then move quickly into the level above 47 to 50. So once we start moving above 44, I think we're going higher than 47, uh, especially based on this move here and this move here, I think there's not really any um, stopping, okay? So that's where that stands. Um, in terms of so far the resist, sorry, the retracement. We'll look, let's say here, wick to, to body, we're at 0.5. So uh, it's coming soon. The 45 level is a big area, whether or not it will rebound or it will continue higher. That's going to be an important level. Okay. All right. So, uh, and in terms of this, like what are we looking at here? Or is this just a jumpy jump and then we're going to come down? Or are we going to make one more move up? Maybe a more um, complicated move or something else is coming. Um, yeah, let's let's look for it. I think uh, I think we've we've got some potential here. We're going to get rejected. We'll see. But at least on the daily, this is just four hourly. So on the daily, um, again, we're looking at breaking up above this area challenging this 200 day moving average. Again, this 45 level, right? That's where it's gonna be the next test for support resistance. Uh, so it's gonna be the next resistance test and it'll probably confluence with this uh, with this um, 20 day moving average. So there you have it. That's where we are overall looking not bad. Um, made that key bounce showing up here. All right. And uh, that's 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 what was needed the market needed to confirm the BTC action in that way, okay? So far, that's where we are. It doesn't mean anything yet. Could continue further down, uh, could go sideways first, but up is the bias. Okay, up is the bias, but we might want to wait until this trend line comes more into view. So it might take into October. However, um, <clears throat> we're not too far away from October. So that's what that means, okay? We're, we're getting near. It's going to be some fun times ahead one way or the other. At least you know, we'll have to, I mean, we got to make it what we can. Okay. We're given the the reality we face and then we make the best we can with it or we do whatever we want with it. 
All right. So wishing you well in your endeavors of making do with reality. All right. And manifesting reality, so to speak. Okay. And so let us check it out collectively here, manifesting this. We're in the 44s. Whoa. Okay. So let's go into this KMD price chart. I just wanted to recognize this potential um, corrective stance here. Uh, regardless of what it is, but we'll look at it as a flat pattern. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at this area here from this uh, August 14th area to now. Okay. And just looking at this as uh, a flat movement, if we're going to take from here and we're going to come to where we are, we're going to look, uh, we're going to look at this as, as a flat movement, flat pattern. So doing that, uh, I see um, a bit potential for checking the time frames. Like, you know, what does the timing say about this? Is this a potential flat pattern where a timing could be playing out? And it looks like yes, could be. Ooh, what just happened there, right? Well, what happened there is this is rough. Okay, this is rough. Um, whoops. So we are around here. This is a daily price chart. We go from uh, the top here to, so this, this is what the flat would be, right? This is the idea of the flat. A, B, C, okay, if that's what's happening. Uh, now this, this wick up here uh, maybe is not the way to look at it. And so even then, regardless of what this pattern is, the price and the, and the time relate to each other. So we don't even have to say what the pattern is. The, the move, the price action, here we have a downtrend. Here we have an uptrend. Here we have a downtrend. So the price chart action will have like time relationships with each other. At least that's part of the theory, right? Okay, so then here, what do we have? Well, on this downtrend, we have about 14 bars. And then on the next uptrend, we have about seven bars here until, so the downtrend starts around, let's call it the 15th August. And we're going to end it around here, 29th August. The uptrend start, we're calling it 30th of August and ending here 6th September. So that itself is seven bars, which is half of the A, okay? The B is the half of the A. And now if we were to take a C from around the uh, September 7th time frame and work our way down and we add A and B, we would come to about 21 bars, which leaves us here in 28th of September. So what does that mean? Maybe we're going to follow this channel down more until 20, 28th of September. Oh, well, that's going to be a bit bearish for that time frame. Um, but then we're looking for a move higher, and that would maybe get us back in this channel. The other better option is that we don't make it uh, all down the channel, uh, breaking below the, the fatter uptrend channel. But instead, we can ride out these days, whether they're sideways down or we get more bump up. Uh, write out these days. And then it's interesting because look what's on the other side of this. Okay, we've got a clear path up on the other side of, of, of this type of confluence here, okay, with this downtrending resistance. And then we're trying to get back up in the uptrending green and stay in this uptrending channel here. But we've got battling this downtrending uh, C wave, let's call it. Um, then, yeah. We're looking for this 28th of September time frame. Okay, end of the month type of time frame, and we've got the, the Ichimoku cloud clears up here and allows, but it, it also goes higher, so it allows for a clearer path up without the same type of resistance. And there you go. So that might be a path to get up above and hold this 20-day moving average before the next major, you know, zone here, which will be this downtrending line which we'll be taking account of, uh, which is not even the bigger downtrending line. You see, uh, well, I should say not the bigger, the more local uh, relating to this local aspect here. And even then, it's just that's the idea. Like we're, we're still time away, okay? We're not talking till 2022 around this line if we're staying at these, you know, 2,800 Satoshi levels, okay? So, before that, if we're trying to get through at like 4,000 Satoshis, we're talking in November of this year. So yeah, let's see what that looks like. Okay, uh, for, <laughs> that would be, I'm not saying that's where we're going, huh? None of this financial advice from here. That's a good 75 to 100% move to try and get out of that action, okay? 
and that's still again not until November, so that's like 90 days away, let's call it. Um, no, 60, let's call it 60, 70 at this point. Let's call it 75 for fun. Okay, stop calling it. All right, so that was the idea, right? Like the A plus the B is now equaling the C. That gives some reason why this could be playing out in this way and could be completing uh, in that manner, in that fashion. So we're looking for this 21 bars or thereabouts, okay? for something to turn around because we've got this downtrending corrective movement here. Let's figure out the next uh, uptrending uh, cycle. You know, like we have an uptrending cycle here, and then we have this downward corrective movement, uptrending cycle here, downward uptrending cycle here. But within this, like we combine them and it's just at least from here is correcting here. And maybe we're in a bigger wave but that's what we're hoping for at this point you know uh, just getting started on this um on this daily price chart weekly price chart for the the eventual movements coming in the commodity platform against ptc in the price chart um yeah because we're definitely going to be going over through the time kmd is not going anywhere it's going through time question is in price where will where will it go? And you know, as far as charts go, we've already been through the videos. And uh, yeah, trajectory is at some point. The trajectory is in this direction. All right, that's enough for now. Um, my bias is for the steepness to be a little bit more, but then again, BTC is BTC. So candy BTC is known to is known to take souls okay so watch out so there you go that's the time analysis for kmd that's basically the idea we're looking like we could be ending anytime soon so that was the that was the, the 28th so let's give it a week okay that's about it okay that's kmd uh, on the btc on the daily if you want to check out we look at we look at some four hour time frame before we look at the Pirate chain. Yeah, looking good here as in terms of trying to just hold support on that four hour time frame. Uh, four hour, sorry, 20 hours. Blah, 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 blah. Returning back to that, rewind. We've got this 20 period moving average on the four hour time frame. And so trying to find that as support and then maybe make another move higher into this cloud. And then, yeah, at least then we're clear of this downtrending channel. But again, four hour price time chart. Could go more into negative territory, but could also not be that long. Let's try and get more positive green territory. Okay, so that's where we are KMD and uh, BTC. And in terms of the USD, uh, it's 96 cents. Okay, next. Oh, yeah, BTC for 44K. All right, let's see what's happening here with the R price chart. On the daily. I'm not going to see super duper much, but uh, you know, we are seeing quite uh, quite, well, quite what we'd like to see, which is another green candle, a solid one, right to the 20 period, 20 day moving average. Beautiful. Well done, KMD. Sorry, KMD. Well, well done, KMD, Komodo platform, getting us some pirate chain R. And then well done, R, pirate chain for finding this uh, this uh, move up here. Okay, let's <laughs> let's not get resisted by a 20 day moving average when it's narrowing like this. Let's let's find some sort of uh, wind up and, and and boom right into this into this cloud. All right, because the opposite is a dangerous dump or oh. Okay. Well that's that. So Pirate chain uh, looking good. Let's just take a look here. I mean, pirate chain looking good. That's it. Pirate chain looking good. Oops. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Right? Or take your time, pirates. No problem. Go for it. <laughs> no, it's all good. 
The Pirate Chain price chart looking good. Daily price chart got a nice green candle today. So everyone's feeling on the positive side of things, isn't it? On the four hour time frame, we'll get a little closer in there. And what are we seeing? Like, what is this happening here? Okay, so the first thing that I'd like to do, I would, I would just want to take a channel to it and, and see if it's like, where is it impulsive at all anyway? Or is, where is it starting? Like it's not quite yet hitting it, the impulse that it needs. Um, could use some of that positive uh, momentum here, uh, but don't be surprised if we hit a little negative first. Um, well, we've been in the negative, so yeah, it might be time to get a bit more positive. Let's see that happen. R, 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 pirate chain against BTC. Okay, finding some resistance here at the 200 period of moving average on this far hour price chart. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely in a potential for a continued um, breakout. And if not, then that's that's not a good thing. It'll reverse, I'll probably reverse all the way. Let's, let's give this, I'll probably reverse all the way back down to the, uh, I mean, you could definitely go back down to the low 5,000s for sure, if you're gonna do that. Or let's call this channel here. So whatever, follow this channel for now if you're using a four hour time frame, possibly. Okay. So we're definitely at the top of this channel. So we're at least gonna probably come down and test this um, dotted halfway line. Yeah, look at it, it turned red right there. So cool. And then after that, we'll see it's a four hour time frame. And overall things are good, right? But at the same time, we wanna we want more good, we want better. Okay. That's it for now um, on the pirate chain price chart. And I do think we have some potential to go higher. Uh, I do. I think we can get into some oversold territory. That would be nice. All right, we'll see what happens. Pirate chain and BTC. And next, we're gonna hit up that. Um, no, that's it, right? We're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well. Stay with it. Stick around for the next one. Thanks for liking the videos, especially you're still here. Make a comment. Love, peace, and happiness. And until next time, goodbye.